I'm about to do a video that has nothing to do with Five Seconds of Summer. I know I just mentioned Five Seconds of Summer and I probably will mention them again later, but this video isn't about Five Seconds of Summer, I promise. So I decided to do this video because I've had a few new subscribers since doing the Disney vlogs and the Five Plus Tour vlog. I don't know many of you and I don't know how well you know me, so I thought it would be good for us to get to know each other. I came across the TMI tag, which I think has interesting questions. There's 50 of them, so this might be quite long. I just thought it would be a good way to introduce myself to any new subscribers that want to know a little bit more about me. So I'm going to get started. Question one. What are you wearing? I am wearing this amazing black top from Forever 21. It says Bay on the front. On the back it says 91, which is actually my year of birth. And I was like, well, I have to buy that because it was basically made for me. I'm um, also wearing this big cozy cardigan because it's raining and horrible outside. And I'm wearing tracksuit bottoms because you can't see my bottom half, so why would I bother? Have you ever been in love? At the time, I thought I've been in love, but I don't think that I have ever actually been in love, which is kind of sad, but also good because hopefully that means something good is still to come. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Um, yes, all of them. I don't know what that says about me as a person. To be honest, actually, like at the time, they've all seemed pretty awful, but there's never been one that's been, I don't know, nothing really awful has ever happened. You know, I've not been married with kids and had to go through a breakup like that. So I suppose in that sense, no, they've not been that terrible and they have all been for the better. So I'm gonna change my answer for that and I'm gonna say no. How tall are you? I am five foot two. I used to think that I was five foot four and then the doctor measured me once and told me I was five foot two. So I'm really short. I have trouble seeing over people at gigs and stuff and that kind of sucks. But also I'm kind of small and cute. So how much do you weigh? I don't actually know the answer to this question. I used to be really obsessed with my weight and losing weight and I realized that wasn't healthy at all and I couldn't tell you the last time I weighed myself. I think as long as I feel healthy and I feel like, or like I like the way I look, then that's all that matters and I don't need to know numbers. I don't need to know anything like that. Do you have any tattoos? I have six tattoos. My first tattoo I got was um, it's on this arm, it's my Fall Out Boy tattoo that says take this to your grave. This Assassin's Creed tattoo, which is the Abstergo Agents logo. A Harry Potter Deathly Hallows tattoo on the back of my neck. A Rocket Summer tattoo on my ribs, which has lyrics from Show Me Everything You've Got. And I also have this Five Sauce tattoo, which is the tally and some lyrics from that football song they once did, because why wouldn't I have that tattooed on me? I got a hard sleeve started. It's nowhere near finished yet, there's still gaps to be filled in. I'm gonna show you it because it's awesome and I love it. It's got Pascal from Tangled and it's got Totoro and all these flowers are the flowers that are in Rapunzel's hair and on this side of it, the flowers again and the Hufflepuff crest. Any piercings? I only have my nose pierced now. I have my ears pierced three times each. I once had a really traumatic experience where the back of the earring went inside my ear and it closed up around it. So I don't wear earrings anymore, like only on very rare occasions and I get really nervous about it. I used to have my lip pierced as well, but I kind of outgrew that. So just the nose, but I did have a few before. Who is your OTP? Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. I am obsessed with wrestling now and I'm really obsessed with Total Divas and Brie and Bryan's relationship is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. They love each other so, so much and that is something, like that is what I would want. Favourite show, as in TV shows I'm assuming. Grey's Anatomy is a big one, I've been watching that for years and years and years and it's still going, it's still incredible, although I just don't want to talk about when McDreamy died because that's still a sore subject. Nashville I'm really into at the moment, I'm so glad that it's not been cancelled anymore and it's carrying on. I used to be really obsessed with Supernatural, but I kind of stopped watching that. How I Met Your Mother, I just rewatched and it's perfect up until the last episode, which we won't discuss because it's ridiculous. Favourite bands? If you know me at all, you probably know this already, but my favourite band ever, 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 and for the rest of my life, will be Fall Out Boy. I have loved them. They've been my favourite band since I was 13. The Rocket Summer, my second favourite band. Five Seconds of Summer, obviously. Got a little soft spot for them. My little Australian days. All the old you wear other bands like the Academy is kind of disco just basically really into pop punk and still stuck in my teenage years and I don't think that's ever gonna change what is something that you miss I miss my mum and dad and my cat sushi and that's really lame answer but it's true I never get to see them what's your favorite song I think my favorite song ever is the patron saint of lies and fakes by fallout boy how old are you 25 halfway to 50 I'm getting old and I'm not happy about it what's your zodiac sign 
I am an Aries. Uh, I've read some things about that, about how it's a fire sign and we're fiery and stubborn and to be honest that's not that far off. What's a quality that you look for in a partner? I just want someone who's nice, honest, funny, just normal things. I don't think there's anything not normal about any of those things. Tell me if I'm wrong. Favourite colour? Pink or purple? Which is really great at the moment because my hair ended up being both of those colours. By mistake. And I love it. Where do you go when you're sad? Probably to my room to cry in the dark. How long does it take you to get ready? Longer than it used to because I actually bother with makeup now and sometimes eyeliner and eyebrows are really difficult and some days it can take way too long and I'll be late for work but usually maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour at most. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Nope, I haven't and I don't want to be, I would be terrified. <laughs> What's a turn on for you? Nice arms, nice eyes, nice hair. Also if you're just nice and a turn off. People spelling things wrong really puts me off for some reason and I'm like, it really shouldn't. If I'm talking to someone online and they're spelling things wrong, I will just be like, okay, I'm not interested in talking to anyone, so bye. The reason I joined YouTube. The real reason I first joined YouTube, and I don't know if I've ever actually said this before, was to try and impress a guy and that was stupid. Then I took a break and now I do it because I really like making these videos and having memories of all the awesome things I've done. Fears. I'm really scared of thunderstorms. I'm also scared of fire. I think mostly in the sense of like waking up to there being a fire and being trapped and dying in it. Last thing that made you cry, the actual last thing that made me cry cry was probably a breakup. But other than that, like every TV show or movie that I ever watched. Probably Tangled, to be honest, the boat scene in Tangled every time. Last time you said you loved someone. About half an hour ago on the phone to my mum and dad, I told them that I loved them. Meaning behind your YouTube name. My YouTube name comes from the Rocket Summer song, Brat Pack. It's my username everywhere on YouTube. Brat Pack was already taken, so I had to stick an X in front of it. Last book you read. The last book I read, I think in full, was a book called Dreamology, which was about a girl and a guy who had, for as long as I remember, always dreamt about each other. And then they met in real life and they were kind of like, oh my god, you're real. And they, they were trying to find out what was happening and stuff. It was kind of like a, an easy read, like, young adult book, but I actually really enjoyed it. The book you're currently reading. I'm not currently reading anything. Remember when I set that challenge for myself to read 50 books this year and I've read 13? Last TV show you watched. I started watching The 100 last night. I've watched like one and a half episodes now. It looks like it's gonna be good. Who was the last person that you talked to? My mum on the phone. Since then, myself, when I was trying to set this camera up and it wasn't working well. <laughs> Relationship between you and the person you last texted. I need to find out who I last texted. It was Amy, my housemate, and it was about wrestling, surprisingly. What's your favorite food? I wanna say Mexican. I love enchiladas and quesadillas and chimichangas and all of it. What's the place that you want to visit? I would love to go to Australia. I have never been, which is surprising with how much I love Australian bands and men and Australia. Everything. The last place you were, and I'm assuming that means like the last place I traveled to, was Orlando in September. We had a little holiday, went to Disney. It was pretty awesome. Do you have a crush? Nope, I do not have a crush. I am living a very single life at the moment and it's excellent. Just talking to my camera, talking to myself, and watching wrestling, it's awesome. The last time you were insulted? I don't know, like probably recently behind my back. I don't know, that's good. I'd rather not know. Favorite flavor of sweet? I mean, if chocolate counts, I'm just gonna say chocolate because that's better than all other sweets. What instruments do you play? I a little bit play the guitar, but not much and not well. What's your favorite piece of jewelry? My favorite piece of jewelry is this little necklace I got from Disney. It's got an E on it and it's got a little Mickey Mouse. I originally bought it when I went to Disneyland Paris, lost it, found it again in Orlando, so that's my favourite because I put it back. The last sport you played. I don't know the last time I played a sport. I worked out this morning, I did a YouTube workout video, so we'll go with that. <laughs> the last song you sang, whatever was last playing on Spotify, I think it was Spring of the Horizon, Throne, so I was probably singing along with that. Favourite chat up line. I don't know any chat up lines. I don't and the last time you hung out with anyone. I hung out with my housemate last night. We watched the Dinoff Games movie. It was awesome. We're gonna hang out again tonight and eat quesadillas and watch the One Direction movie. So that's where my life's at right now. <laughs> so that's it, that was the TMI tag. Hopefully you got to know me a little bit more. Um, tell me some things about yourself in the comments because I would love to get to know some of you as well. I will be back with another video soon. I need to get back on this YouTube thing because I really do enjoy it. The next interesting thing I do, I promise you can come along and 
whenever that is. I'll see you then. Bye guys.